everybody, welcome to another episode of Rebel Inspirations, and today's inspiration is a little rain to bring some May flowers. Um, today we're going to talk about our holistic first aid kit. Um, first thing I like to keep in my first aid kit is Arnica, Arnica 30C. Mm, can't really get a good video there. Oh, almost. Nope. Okay. Anyways. So that's great for bruises, swelling. I personally like to use it after hard workouts. My muscles get tense and sore, and I take a little bit of Arnica 30C. I take three, three tablets under my tongue, and it seems like it really helps me get through the rest of the day and not be as sore the next day. Great for children. Um, you can give one tablet to your child, you know, if they sprain an ankle, bruise, break. Great for people going through traumatic stress, shock, uh, emotional um, stress. Arnica 30C, great, great homeopathic. Um, with that homeopathic, a lot of times for stress and simple anxiety and in insomnia conditions, I like to use some of box rescue remedy. Though you can't see the label very good right now, um, box is great to add into a lot of different teas, you can add it with tinctures, put three, four drops underneath your tongue three to five times a day depending on how you are and how you're feeling after you take it. Um, really, really helpful. The essence of the flowers really do something special. Um, I also have Arnica oil here in my apothecary. Um, there are a few things I'm missing, but the Arnica oil goes into a couple different, um, uh, like healing and bruise and like comfrey ointments and things like that. Sometimes I'll use it just by itself on sore muscles or any bruises, anything like that. It works great. Um, but it is what I have here now. There are a few things I would like. I'd like to make some hypercom oil. That would be great to add to my apothecary for infections and different cuts and burns and bruises. And um, I do, though, have some oil of oregano. This is something that I have that my school did not offer. Uh, American College of Healthcare Associates didn't mention having it in the apothecary, but to me, it's a really special one. It's a really strong one but it helps with breaking down bacterias and um, different infections, fungal infections, viral infections, uh, bacterias. I like it, it's a great all around antibiotic substance for me and my household. Um, a couple essential oils I really like to have on hand. I really enjoy having peppermint essential oil around. It helps clear my sinuses, helps with headaches, um, is really invigorating and stimulating for your mornings. I like to have a little clove, but essential oil sitting around too, just in case of any toothaches. I add it to some of my ointments to ha give a little analgesic effect so that it kind of helps take down some of the swelling and inflammation. It's great for infections too as well. I've used it with Manuka honey, um, clove, and cinnamon, and it was really great for bad staph infection that I had. Um, I also really love lavender. I can't get enough lavender. I don't say anybody else should. Lavender everywhere. Um, it's great. Anxiety, uh, sedation, insomnia, menstrual cramps, oh man, uh, burns, infections, you name it. I don't think there's anything lavender can't take care of, but it's always good to have other things. Tea tree is also another one that I don't have right here with me, but it's also a good one to keep on hand. It's great for um, acne, cuts, infections, and things like that. Um, I really do enjoy using that too, fungal infections. Um, another few things that are in the apothecary or in the American College Healthcare Associates textbook they mentioned having yarrow and peppermint. Uh, yarrow and peppermint, you still can't see it. Yarrow and peppermint are two of my favorite. I really love chamomile too. I've already used the chamomile, so I don't have it to show. Um, but 
I really love using all those. It's good for colds, flus, um, coughs, great for internal bleeding, <laughs> menstrual tonic, um, the peppermint, the chamomile is one of my favorite blends. The yarrow is great for infections, any kind of infections. I had one guy make a tea out of it, and we made an infusion to soak his foot with yarrow and garlic and tea tree, um, Epsom salt. I believe that was it. And his toe infection went away after a week, and we did it twice a day. Um, it was really awesome. It was a good experience. Um, also, in my apothecary at home, I live and I swear by Slippery Elm. I don't think anybody who lives near me or around me can get by without hearing me say Slippery Elm about three times in a day. Um, Slippery Elm really helps coat your inner intestine lining, so it's great for ulcers, stress conditions. It's a good sedative, really helps relax you. Um, diarrhea when you eat the wrong things. Um, it really helps with um, food allergies, food intolerance, stomach pains, colicky stuff. It's a nutritive, so if you can't eat, it's you can make porridges out of it, and you can still survive on some cinnamon and slippery elm. You'd be just fine. Um, it's one of those two that you would like to take into the woods with you. I studied a little bit of holistic survival and um, herbalism out in the woods, and actually slippery elm will be the one to save your life if you accidentally eat something that upsets your stomach that you are you get dysentery from the water it will actually help coat your stomach and help heal it with dysentery too i think you want to have a little bit of an antibiotic so then you could use yarrow um but that's about what's in my holistic apothecary today my first aid kit I plan to order a bunch more things. I am actually going to go to the kitchen right now and start making a couple of the, like the calendula um, healing salve, the disinfectant um, liniment too. I'm going to make those two to add into my apothecary. I'm going to try to continue adding on once a week. And maybe I'll share them with you. Thanks guys for coming. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. Have a great day.